Hey, what's up, everybody? So this is going to be a Roblox Risky Strats game. It's kind of like an RTS. I guess I would consider it an RTS, real time strategy game. Um, and I actually didn't know Roblox had games like this, and I actually f just kind of found it when I was looking for games. So I'm not going to give a tutorial, but I'm going to explain a little bit of how to play. So basically, all you do is you get a lot of numbers by making power plants. The more power plants you get, the more you make, and as you expand, you make more and more power plants. And you send them across the grid, and the big numbers beat smaller numbers. So that's basically the two things you need to know is big numbers beat smaller numbers. So like if you send 100 at like 10, the 10 is going to beat the 100. So basically the first like two or three minutes, you're basically starting off the game. So I just want to make factory, 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 factory four or five factories and and there's two game modes one is empire and the other one is basically it's basically if you lose your main base which is my main base is right there okay so I want to make a whole bunch of power plants and you see they generate more the main base generates a little bit more than the power plants because it's a little bit stronger than them and every game just about is a free fall every single time. Once in a while you get a one from one versus one, but it's really, really rare. It's usually three, four, five players. Sometimes six, I guess. And when it says 25, 25, 25, those are neutral. That means nobody's on it. And the 25 just mean you capture them. And and sometimes you don't wanna let them know what your base is. They can't see my base, I can't see their base. But usually they're standing over the base. So see the guy in the blue and the right? I think that his base is right where he's looking. His character is looking. And I think the guy with the green, the guy that's like rainbow colors, I think his base is a little bit to the upper right. And that guy in the red actually, um, the red player, he's actually a pretty good player. I'm actually not an expert at this game. I learned it maybe like two or three weeks ago. And I was supposed to be uploading a whole bunch of Roblox games. I was going to was them because I actually was playing a whole bunch of different things. And then I actually got caught up, like addicted to this game. So I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to play the other Roblox games. I'm just playing this for now. So what I'm doing now is I got five power plants and one capital. Your main base is called the capital, by the way. Um, I'm not really giving a tutorial. I'm just kind of explaining. And now, see, we're in, in the center point that's connecting. That's what you want to make, your power plant. And what the power plant it does is it makes everything go, like, two and a half or three times faster. Uh, unless it's, say, three times faster. I don't know the exact number. But it, like, triples the speed, so everything's a hard to go up by one. It's, like, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It, it'll go up by, like, three at a time. You'll see in a minute. So you're just getting set up, and now this guy, and sometimes they um, like send out like a scout, and then they just leave one in the square. See what Blue's doing right there? I think he was just scouting. And now, um, so if I send a 761 at a 25, the 761 will kill every single one of them. But like say you send like um, 100 at 200, um, the guy with 200 is going to win, but, not, but he's not going to keep all 200. You're going to have like 200, but you're going to keep like... Um, you're gonna lose like some of them. It's hard to explain. Um, it's a thing called Lancaster's Law. It's kind of like in Red Alert 2: New Year's Revenge. If you have like 20 tanks versus 10 tanks, the more tanks you have, more than the other person, the more tanks, the less tanks they're gonna lose, and the more tanks you're gonna kill right away. Yeah. So if you send like a thousand at a hundred, that's you, you're gonna lose less than if you send like um 200 at a hundred. Like bigger numbers be so see if I leave just one, um, one number like a number one that means usually means it's just like you're scouting to see if the guys coming close and then it gives you like a minute to react if they come. So factory power plant that's all you need to know is factory and power plant when you first learn the game. But then when you get a little bit more advanced, maybe after like two or three games, you finally figure out what you're doing. Then you got to start building forts and artilleries, and there's only four different things you could build, so it's not that complicated. 
Um, the, the, the complex part of it is the more advanced play, it gets complicated because you had to multitask, and it's really, really fun because, um, I mean, I don't think this game is, would be fun for everybody. I mean, I don't think, like, this is a game that anybody will play. But if you like strategies, like, you like, you like, I don't know, it's kind of like a board game in a way. If you like strategy games like this, you're definitely going to enjoy this. So right now, it's like, I see Blue, he ha only, he doesn't have a lot of crap right there. So I'm like, okay, I could attack him because I could build my own power plants or I could capture his. If I, um, take over a power plant, I don't know why they call it power plants. I mean, not a power plant, I'm a factory. Factory is the things that make money, power plants speed them up. If I take over his factories, then I start making money off of his stuff. I basically just take over his factory. And I guess, like, the numbers, the troops are, like, if it says, like, 549 or, like, 1, those represent, like, kind of, like, troops, like, if it was, like, an army. And it's just, like, really, like, a numbers game. Like, if you're sending, say, 5,300 at a guy with 169, you're going to slaughter him. But if he sends 10,000 at your 5,000, you're going to lose. So this blue, I don't know what's going on with the blue, but it looks like, you know, I'm just kicking, I'm about to beat the crab out of him. So boom, factory, power plant, factory. The most important thing is just to make nothing but factories at first. And then when you get a whole bunch of factories, try to make a power plant right in the middle. Now, now you could go backwards. Like if you're if you're lo losing, you could go backwards. So look, I'm actually doing pretty good. I got 24%, and you gotta get 70% to win. And by the way, the the reason why they have 70% to win is if you have 70% to win against all these players, you're gonna win anyway. You basically could take the whole board. So you basically, I think they stop it at 70%. Maybe that's the how they designed the game. Not 100% sure, but like if you have 70%, you, you got the game. But I had games where like you're like fifty percent versus fifties in the fifties and sixties, and you're still fighting. So, and look, um, and by the way, see, purple has a fort which is five thousand twenty-four or forty, a uh, fifty-four ninety-six. That's a fort. A fort make, it makes your defenses. So if you attack a fort, you're gonna get you're gonna get screwed up. You're gonna get if you attack a fort, you're gonna get your ass kicked because it's high defense. But since I have 10,000 versus the 10,000 could be the 5,400, but I'm not exactly sure the stats on how strong the fort is. But like I could beat him if I had more than double. But like say if I had 6,000 or 7,000 or even five, if I had the same number as him, I would get like crushed if I went against the fort. And the only weakness against the fort is that it doesn't make you money like the power plants do. And blue, it looks like he's losing, and and basically we're all like basically absorbing blue stuff. So now what's going on is I'm taking the whole left side of the board. I'm doing pretty good right now. Where else he got 38%? I don't know how he has so much. And it looks like somebody could somebody um got killed already, I think. So um they just have like all the power plants and I could just capture them easily without any resistance. So get 70%. And you could get like attack counterattacked. So even if I have more numbers in them, a higher numbers in them and more spots, sometimes you could still lose. But usually the bigger numbers win usually. So I realized I got a four thousand there versus a three thousand. I could take all those squares in the diamond in the top right there. I think I could beat red right there. And I'm thinking that I'm doing pretty well right now. And blue is somehow alive. It's actually kind of remarkable that blue is still alive. I'm yellow by the way, I mean it's obvious I'm yellow, but I just want to point it out. Um Fort right there, I guess. And if they capture your fort, then they get the fort also. But I mean, it's really hard to capture forts. But if you have too many forts, you're not gonna make any money. I mean, not make money. I mean, make troops. I guess they're called troops or something like that. I don't know the terminology. And and if you select all of them and press F F. Um, makes all of them and see how it says Q E R F you actually could reassign those numbers and when you get bigger in the game you make bigger numbers so I have like R is 6,000 E is 2,000 about and F is just basically everything that's like a number in the millions or something 
And I thought I was winning. I was like, dude, we're squeezing out blue really, really bad. And like red is being pesky. But it looks like red is not that strong because um, I don't really see where all the stuff is. I'm not really actually sure what happened to blue. Sometimes you don't know what really happened. But it looks like um, we both were killing him. and But blue's... I think red's kill in the process of killing him. So I got a foot right there. And the reason I got a foot right there is because sometimes if you're um, busy in the bottom, you're going to make forts in the spot where you're not looking because you can't multitask the whole entire screen. So blue... See that um, 14,000 something? That's probably blue's biggest number. If that dies, then blue dies. Um, usually when this happens, when there's two strong players, me and red are both strong players. Like I got 52%, so I think I'm I'm think I'm doing well. Usually what happens is um, the player that's the weakest usually loses, but then he um, the player he attacks like kind of like messes messes you up. So if he attacks me, that's gonna make it easier for red to win. And I think the blue's attacking me. I don't know like what I was like. I gotta. I just wanna kill. So I'm like, I'm 10% ahead of red. So I'm like, I just want to kill this blue off. And then I'm going to um, focus on red. But for some reason, he keeps attacking me. And he's attacking me. And he's making forts right in the middle of my base. And he's so he, overall, he's not weak. I mean, he's not strong. But he, see the fort, see all these numbers? He has a fort with 15,000 something. So if I want to attack that. Usually, um, you got to have a big number to attack. And by the way, the, the thing I want to mention about artillery, I, I'm not really an expert on one to make artillery or the subtle, like, just like the little nitty, just a little fine detail of, like, the strategy for it. But I know you make artillery if they have a fort with a big number. That's when you make artillery. Um, but other than that, you know, other than that, so basically, I can make an artillery right here and kill off blue. But the funny thing is, I was so I thought I was I, I was thinking I'm ahead, and now red's starting to catch up. He's got forty seven percent now, and now for some reason blue's attacking me. Blue's attacking me, and now I'm attacking red. And look, he has a, a three, three, a couple of three hundreds, five hundreds, fourteen hundreds, and I got a big twenty four thousand, a three thousand, and I got wooden him. I'm like, okay, maybe I got, I maybe I got him. And notice how I got a foot in the upper left of the screen. So, I mean, a lot's going on at once. It's, it, 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 I mean, the game is simple and complicated at the same time. It's kind of like, I would compare it to checkers, how checkers is kind of, it's simple, but it's complicated. It's kind of like that. Um, it, it seems complicated when you first learn it, but it's really, really a fun game when you get the hang of it. Um, so, anyway, Blue's attacking me. Look, he just took all my power plants, so I'm like, this son of a bitch... He's actually making it easy for um, Red to catch up. Mm. And I actually attacked his fort. And I captured his fort. See what it says? 15.6 thousand on the left side of the screen. Um, that's when I attacked Blue. But Blue actually moved away. And he's attacking. Like, and he took all that. But eventually Blue can't kill me. He can't kill me. But he could um, be pesky. So it looks like, you know, I got the whole bottom part of the map. Um, I left, I lost the mid left side because blue. Man, but honestly, I haven't played like hundreds and hundreds of these games, but I don't like have a super lot of experience like I do in Year's Adventures year, in Red Light 2. But I, whenever I see a guy get like, like six, seven, eight percent, I usually don't see them win. Oh, look, I sent it at his fort. Oh, shit. Like right there, I sent it at his fort. I don't know if I'm gonna kill him or not. Now nah, it looks like okay. We're gonna make this into a fort because I think Red's about to attack it. Excellent. I think I might have misclicked right there. I might don't want him to attack right there where Red is in the um, mid right. So, and another part of the strategy is you got to make sure that you're using all your numbers, all your troops. So, if you have like five, a whole bunch of 500s or thousands in one spot, you got to select them all, press F, and get them into an active square. It's kind of like, oh, look, he made another fort. I was focusing on red, and he made another fort. By, this way, by the way, um, this is a game I already played like an hour ago. 
I just talk, I'm doing the commentary over it. Um, okay, so I got 27,000 right there. He's got a 35,000. I'm afraid of that 35,000. So I made an artillery and he made a fort. So I'm thinking if I kill that 25,000, I could knock right out and I could and I could just keep bringing it on. And now, blue, look, blue is, I don't know why, it seems like the two versus one in me. But look, I got 57%, he's got 35%, now 37%. So crap, I gotta get 70% and I'm at 55%. So I got a 30,000 right there, 26,000. And the artillery, I think it like doubles how much you have, but just to the square you're going to. I don't know the exact numbers again, because the tutorial, the um, how to play, like the manual for this game, um, is actually, um, it's just a YouTube video that explains how to play, but it doesn't explain um, how much an artillery does. I mean, and by the way, this is made by some company that, that makes games for Roblox. And I don't know. It's actually a game designer that made this. It's not just a random person, I guess. I don't know. Or something like that. I think it's called White Collar Games. I'm not really sure. But that, that, that's totally irrelevant. So anyway, here we go. Um, boom. Yeah, I think Roblox is where they have like a lot. It's a lot of like, there's like a lot of game companies. And a lot of small game companies. And, Ro and like games like Roblox and Minecraft, people could... um make like games like this that are like extremely complex kind of like like xbox games or like command and conquer games or something like that Th this game's not extremely complex but it is complex enough that like uh, like an individual wouldn't be able to make this game i mean it's it, I don't know, something like that so blue's really like trying to annoy me and when he has a fort in my base he, ha he took over my artillery and now when he was doing all that red was attacking the upper left he was attacking the top and the upper left. And now um, I think what's going to happen is Blue's eventually going to get squeezed out. But he weakened me because I have less numbers because I'm not producing where the Blue is. So I'm kind of feeling good. Look, I, I'm attacking with my artillery and that fort in the red. And I'm actually kind of confused on how the hell red won that. Look, he has 27,000. I don't get it. Um... And see why I have a fort. If you have a fort right in the middle of your base where there's nothing around, you want to turn it into um into a factory or a power plant, usually a factory. And I'm like, oh shit. So it looks like blue, I mean red's going on the counterattack. So I got all these numbers over here. I got to get them up into play. And I'm actually, honestly, I don't quite know why I lost that battle in the right, in the very right side of the screen. Because I sent an artillery versus a fort, and artillery upgrades the attack, and fort upgrades the defense. But the thing is, artillery costs 25,000, no, 4,000. Artillery costs 4,000, fort costs 400. So how could something that costs 400 be, you know, even the same com numbers? Like the same league or the same like magnitude of something that's ten times more four thousand, that is confusing me, and it do, looks like Blues only got one or two squares left. He's about to get squeezed out. He's got like one percent, and we got way more than that. Now it looks like I'm still ahead of Red, but the problem is he he got he hit me hard with that fort. And by the way, um sometimes they. You, like you, it gets complicated because like if you're attacking somebody, you're attacking one of the um, one of the I, I don't know the spots. It's kind of everything's kind of like in a diamonds and lines. But if you're attacking one of the spots, sometimes they could actually move away and then come back and get it right after. Or sometimes um, like if you're attacking with artillery, they let you they let you like attack the spot. They let you beat you and then they attack your artillery when your artillery is attacking. So what you gotta do is. When you're attacking with the artillery, you gotta not um, send all your troops. You gotta just use it as uh, for attacking the forts, and um, just basically you can't send 100% of your artillery out. I don't think, but I could be wrong because I'm again I'm not an expert at the game. But I'm just speaking off for you know a couple weeks of experience, which is basically a, I'm a, li a little bit new at this. But I think I'm getting, I'm getting good at this because I kind of it, it only took me like four games to win one. Or something like that, four or five maybe. 
So I'm the only thing I'm afraid is I'm red has at 24,000, 25,000 and he's attacking at the top. I would have like a way bigger um thing if blue didn't attack me. Now I'm like, okay. Um and one thing I don't want to do, see now I'm going to attack with the artillery. I see how what I was talking about. I attacked with artillery, and then he just abandoned the square and the left. And like what I'm like, th the, this it's kind of like you got a multitask because things are happening in more than one spot. Now he had captured my artillery, and I, and I was like, and he swept with it. See, and that's kind of like my lack of expertise at this game. I, I'm not bad. I'm definitely not bad. I'm decent at this game, but. Like, he kind of, like, he kind of tricked me. And now see what that fort is. I got to make that into a power plant. But I'm actually, I'm not, I didn't even want to take the chance because I was so busy. I'm thinking, okay, now he has more percentage than me. And he's taking my fort 54 to 45%. And so it's still looking kind of good for me. But the only thing that, that kind of sucks is the fact that Blue decided he didn't like me more than Red. Um, and Red hit, hit, was getting me with forts and shit. So, like, again, if you don't know what you're doing, the, uh, the only thing you had to know how to make is um, power, uh, factories at first. So I actually don't... And I just started realizing right now, I actually don't have to... Totally fight the guy. I just gotta get seventy percent. But actually, what's happening is he's capturing more and more of mine. So like, I might push through the middle toward the top, and and just put forts on the left side and just stall him right there because he's actually starting to um complexify the situation. Now I'm sending. I'm attacking that that five thousand. Or oh, bad idea. That's a bad idea. Oh, he made it into a fort. And that's another thing about this game. Um, I know I'm like, kind of like throwing a lot at you. It's hard to absorb everything I'm saying because I'm talking like a lot of different strategies all in like a first time you've seen this video. But a fort basically is like a defense. Think of it as a turret. And if they make it into a fort right when your, um, your troops, your numbers are right about to hit it and they hit it into a fort like boom like that, you get fucked. And it, and it really sucks. I mean, that's what he did to me. And and I should be more aware. And now I'm actually starting to get desperate because he's starting to, like, squeeze me out. He's got 65%. So I made it into artillery, and I got to attack one of those forts. And if I attack one of the forts and capture the fort, I might get be able to get back into it. And then I was kind of like, holy shit. So, um, I'm just getting, like, a little overwhelmed right now. Now, if I attack all out and then for... Oh, he has 30,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 5,000. He has a five, another 5,000. He has a 15... I, yeah, it looks like I'm dead. Um, but you see, um, Blue helped him, and he hit me with a counter attack right on the right side, and that's kind of where the momentum shifted, kind of... But it looked like I was still okay for a little while, but then eventually he got 70% he won. And if they get 70%, it's going to be really easy for them to get 100%. And that's why they stop it where you win if you get 70% of the map. So good game. Thanks for watching. And 